Right, welcome back. Today's puzzle was sent to me by The Void. The Void, who along with Skirwingle, who we've uh, seen on the channel before, they together have a podcast called Off Grid. It's the totally not about crosswords crossword podcast. Uh, give it a listen, you'll see what I mean. It's fantastic, and um, the link is in the description. Do give it a listen. Right, thanks Void for sending this to me. I have uh, no idea what it's going to be about or how difficult it is. We shall see. The title is Satisfaction. Uh, not sure what that tells us really. Right, let's have a go. Beer, fan rides off to get Mexican 16. Well, we probably need to do 16 first, don't we? Damn female cheek. Oh, got one. I wasn't expecting to get one. F for female, lip for cheek, flip. Damn. Drained, pitiable, foreign characters drink. Drained, pitiable, foreign characters drink. Foreign character could be a Greek letter or something like that. Pie? Pie something? Drained. I don't know. Two thirds annihilated in an apostolic leader's heavy defeat. How many letters in annihilated? Not divisible by three, I don't think. No, two thirds annihilated in apostolic leader's heavy defeat. No, I don't know. Prisoner fleeing seen without clothes, holding singular cloak. Now, seen without clothes might be letters E, E. S, S, K, P. Let's write it in. P, S, C, P, E, E. Cape is a cloak. Yes, it is. It's E, E, which is seen without clothes. So take off the first and last letter. And then inside that, we've got S for singular and cape for cloak. Drained. Piped. I like pie as the foreign character. Drink. Hmm, not sure. Government intake. Nope. O'Connor shunned gold, went out and created. Right, so gold is probably O-R, which is the French and heraldic term for gold, which leaves us with O-C-O-N-N. -N. Created. O'Connor. Trying to think of anyone called O'Connor that I know. Is the old comedian Tom O'Connor? I don't know. Ah, never mind. Let's I try here. Consumes peeled pear and skin of tangerines. Eats. That is EA from the middle of pear and TE TS from the outside of tangerines. It might hold one ragged coat. It might hold one. Taco? Taco is an anagram of coat. It might hold one. Hmm, not sure it might hold one, but I think that's probably right. A record or record Bose Hexagon Factory. Now, Bow often suggests uh, we're saying something in an East London accent and um, taking off the initial H. Uh, hexagon factory, I don't know. 16 for goat. Do we know 16? Italian playwright overdoses say, that's too bad. I need to take this in. 
No idea about Italian playwrights, I'm afraid. Relative with no spectacles, not stylish, endlessly fey. Uh, what have we got? Niece, uncle, something like that. Relative with no spectacles. <laughs> I don't know. 16 for goat. Sky clad auntie wants new to straighten out. I don't know. Did better than our defta pom managed. So that's obviously an anagram, isn't it? Our defta pom. How do you do this? Sorry. Uh, our defta pom. It's going to be out. Sorry, I don't know how to work this website. Uh, oh, that's good. Outperformed anyway. <laughs> Sorry, just playing with the tools on the website. Outperformed. Good, got some letters. House short officer in shed in Oxford to begin with. House. Or house. Short officer in shed in Oxford. In Oxford to begin with might be INO. Officer can be like an NCO or a CO. House or hows. Don't know. Well spoken Latin's way of preparing contents of four. Again, don't know what four is. Not a major export from Sind, I ex emphasized. Indie? That's hidden in the phrase Sind I emphasized. Not a major indie. Short, short for independent, I think. Anyway, could be. Uh, that's our Italian playwright. Overdoses say, that's too bad. I need to take this in. Oh, I don't know. In extract from Bible, Gabriel rejected Jewish 16. So it's going to be bagel, doesn't it? So extract from this, rejected backwards, B A G E L. Bagel. Bagel and taco. So does that mean 16 is something like bread or food or. I need to take this in. Yeah, food. Food stuff. Food stuff? Italian. Who's our Italian playwright? Overdoses say that's too bad. OD for overdose? That's too bad. Stuff. F O. Italian playwright. I don't know. That might be wrong. No idea who the Italian playwright is. Sky clad auntie once knew to straighten out. Straighten out, un, curl, un, un, it's got to be un, isn't it? 16 for goat, food stuff for goat. Food stuff for goat, goat, butter, butter. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? How you just get a flash of inspiration. Butter, because a goat like butts things, doesn't it? Um, twist. Sky-clad auntie once knew. Um, Sky-clad auntie once knew. Let me know in the comments how that works. 
I might be wrong, of course. Relative with no so this looks like uncle. It pairs nicely with the auntie clue just below it, doesn't it? No spectacles, not stylish, endlessly fey. Fey means sort of a bit mad, doesn't it? Record. Archive. That's a record. Bow's Hexagon Factory. Oh, a hexagon factory is a hive, because um, the the uh, like the honeycomb structure is hexagonal, isn't it? And then a bow is an arc. Wow, brilliant. Oh, I can't believe we solved that many. This is tough. Strong Joe. In America, little presidents besieged by petroleum suppliers. Now, that would be OPEC or Strong Joe. DiMaggio, Joe DiMaggio. Little President, Ike, uh, Abe. Don't know. Funny trio treats lowly elderly women. Funny trio. Three, the three stooges, the three. Holy, no, no idea. So this one's got. Ah, so we've got a 16. Beer fan rides off to get Mexican 16. Is it an anagram of beer fan rides? Yeah, probably. Almost certainly. Mexican food. That's going to be, of course, a... Uh, um, chili burrito. Uh, Mexican food. Oh, I don't know. Beer fan rides. Oh, I don't know. I need a letter here. A memory at 100 is redolent. Um... A. Memory can be RAM or ROM. Aromatic? Does, does, does redolent mean aromatic? It's A. ROM at 1C. Must be. Aromatic. Redolent. I didn't know that's what redolent mean. I'm not sure what I thought redolent did mean. It wasn't aromatic. Do some wags insist Newton discovered Leibniz's exponents from the very start? Oh, you've got to love calculus references in uh, crosswords, haven't you? Do some wags insist Newton discovered Leibniz's exponents from the... Wow. Swindle? Yes, do swindle. So that's the first letters of everything from sum all the way up to exponents. So yeah, that's a calculus reference. Love it. Right, so no excuse now for not getting this Mexican food. <laughs> something bears, something... <sighs> Beads. Beans. Beans sounds plausible, doesn't it? Something beans. Re... Fried beans? I think I've heard of re-fried beans. Is that right? Looks right, doesn't it? I don't know why you have to fry the beans twice. There you go. Artists' current fault representing dried foodstuff. RA, Royal Academy for Artists, I, Current, Physics, and um, Fault, Sin, Raisin, Dried Food Stuff. I'm glad we got food stuff fairly early on. Jackets for Boilers. 
jackets for boilers. Now, to me, both parts of that clue look like potato references to me, but um, jackets. Boilers. Two thirds annihilated in apostolic leaders' heavy defeat. Lacking. Um, licking? That's a heavy defeat, a licking. Oh, it is that. It's two thirds annihilated in apostolic, means take away two thirds of the word apostolic. And then the leader is the king. And we get a licking, which is a heavy defeat. I'm uh, very familiar with them at my football team. Right, drained, pitiable, foreign characters drink. Mm. It's not a very likely looking word, is it? Drink. Drained, pitiable. Now that could be P-E, drained, pitiable. Foreign character. Phi. Peffy, is that a drink? P-E-P-H-I? I don't know, it's the best guess I've got though. Is that a drink? Pepsi, oh god. P-S-I is also a Greek letter, Psi. There's lots of excellent um, maths and physics and Greek alphabet references here. Right, it's jackets for boilers. Engineers? Shout loudly about Dan, tragic European. Yeah, it's going to be anagram of Dan, tragic. And around that, we're going to put something that means shout loudly, and we get holler, Hollander, Hollander, Hollander. So it's holler around an anagram of Dan. Ah, oh, it's not. Engineers, jackets for boilers, and mm, don't know what that is. Uh, funny trio treats lowly. I wonder if that's gr grannies and that's aromatic, which is a word I don't know. No. Yeah, I remember that this word might be wrong. Uh, trio, then. Anagram of trio, probably. Hmm. Funny trio treats lowly. Ah, annoying. DJ Freeman and I head to Cloudy State. DJ Freeman and I. State. Pass. Strong. Joe in America, little presidents besieged by petroleum suppliers. Little presidents, got to be Abe or Ike or something like that, hasn't it? <sighs> A bit stuck now. A bunch of f foods turned in. Uh, turned green in Greece, sire, revolting. Uh, right. I something S. Well, it looks like anagram of sire at the end, doesn't it? So probably like that. Turned green in Greece. 
groceries. Let's write it in and have a look. Groceries. So there's our sire turned green. Hmm, not sure, that might be wrong. Might be wrong. That's the house. Well spoken. Latin's way of preparing contents of something we haven't got. Jackets for boilers. I can't even think of a word that begins that with those letters. Uh, eggshells. <laughs> eggshells. There's a excellent um, penny drop moments in this puzzle. It's so well written. Eggshells. So the jackets of boilers, because uh, you boil eggs and their jackets are eggshells. So what was this? Something to do with that? Well spoken Latin way of preparing contents of eggshells. Way of preparing contents of eggshells, so... Uh, poach, scramble, fry... Well spoken. <clears throat> Can't think what that's going to be. A way could be ST at the end. Latin. I don't know. O'Connor shunned gold, went out and created. <laughs> went out and created. I don't know. Government intake. <sighs> intake, intake, intake. Government. Sorry. DJ Freeman and I head to Cloudy State. DJ Freeman. I don't know who that is. Cliff. Cloudy State. DJ. I don't know. I don't know. Funny trio treats lowly elderly women. Funny trio. Goodies? That's a funny trio. Goodies. It's got to be, isn't it? Lowly elderly women. Let me know in the comments how that works. Strong. Joe in America. Yeah, Joe is an American word for coffee, isn't it? So this is going to be espresso. Yeah, so there's ESO, like the um, petroleum suppliers. Oh, it's S, ESO, and then Prez, short for president, little president, besieged by ESO. Simple as that. <sighs> DJ Freeman and I head to Cloudy State. Cloudy state could be like fogginess, mistiness. Oh, head is a ness. Yes. Like a headland is a ness. And then there's the eye. So the rest of it is just DJ Freeman. Cliff. Cliffiness. Um, bluff. DJ Freeman. I don't know who that is. 
cloudy states. Fluffiness. It's got to be fluffiness. Is Fluff Freeman a DJ? Could well be. Temporary ban of coffee, for example. Stop. Temporary ban. Something stop? Could be something stop. Well spoken. Latin's way of preparing contents of four. Now we should be able to get this. Poached egg, fried egg, eggs benedict, eggs... Uh, well spoken. Latin's way, that could be like a, a via of preparing contents. Perhaps we need an anagram of egg. Government intake. Intake. Input, it's your your intake. Oh, again, it could be just food, couldn't it? Uh, oh, government. I mean, so close, we're so close. House short officer in shed in Oxford. Could be INO. Officer could just be O. Shed. House. House. What's a house that fits in that gap? <sighs> I don't know. Have we looked at this one? No. English politician bound to be exhausted. <laughs> Typical. Struggling and there was one easy one. Right there. Emptied. English, E, M, P, politician, bound, tied. Right. House officer, house short officer in shed in Oxford to begin with. Oh, it's Scorpio. House. The um, signs of the zodiac are known as houses sometimes. So this is, what, I don't know, short officer in shed in Oxford. In Oxford to begin with is I.O. House, short officer in corp, corporal, short S, I suppose, S, and then corp, and then I.O. Simple as that. Isn't it easy when you know how? <sighs> well spoken, Latin's way of preparing contents of eggshells. Well spoken. Don't know. O'Connor shunned gold, went out, and created. So I think definitely we're looking for created. Created. O'Connor. Who is O'Connor? Des. Designed. Des O'Connor. Shunned gold went out. It's got to be designed, doesn't it? Shunned gold. So we've got Des for O'Connor. Shunned gold went out is I G N E D. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Government intake. Hmm. <laughs> Temporary ban of coffee, for example. Suspension. Suspension is a temporary ban. And presumably, chemically speaking, coffee is a suspension of particles in the liquid. Presumably. I just may not know this way of preparing eggs. Well spoken. Latins. 
way of preparing contents of eggshells. Well spoken. I don't know if there's any way of revealing the answers on here. <clears throat> well spoken, Latin's way of preparing contents of four. Dis. Latin way could be V I A. Well spoken, Latin's way. Or a way could be ST. And then there's this one government intake. <sighs> government intake. Diet. I think a diet is a very, very old fashioned word for a government or a. A, um, an assembly of some sort. There's a, a famous incident in Germany she called the Diet of Worms, which was a, a meeting of the uh, Parliament of Worms, the City of Worms. <sighs> wow, I think so, I think so. Oh, what is this? Well-spoken Latin way of preparing eggs. Didn't I say Benedict earlier? Eggs Benedict. Oh! If you're well spoken, I think the Latin word for that is that you are, you are, well, bene is good and dict, dictum is to do with speaking, isn't it? So presumably the word benedict means well spoken in Latin. Wow. Can't believe I said benedict ages ago. Oh, we did it. Wow. What an amazing crossword. I love that animation, Void. That is fantastic. So yeah, absolutely, absolutely superb. What's, what an amazing amazing achievement. Lots and lots of foods in there and so many brilliant clues with penny drop moments. You know, it looked difficult at first but uh, get some letters in the grid, it all falls together. Can't <laughs> Pepsi was a bit of embarrassing wasn't it? Yeah, there's a couple I didn't understand but uh, yeah, let me know in the comments how those work. And wow, that was amazing. Thanks Void for sending me this to do. Superb, superb. And uh, yeah, as I say, do do uh, have a listen to Void and Skull Ingle's excellent, excellent podcast linked in the description so that's it thanks for watching and thanks again void for this amazing crossword see you next time bye